The coastal plain, the most unique of the stream regions, is characterized by flat countryside with very few hills. The streams here move very slowly. They have sand and gravel bottoms, unlike the rocky bottoms found in the rest of the state. Healthy streams typically have an abundance of vegetation and wood that provide habitat for stream life. Sometimes the water becomes stained dark from leaves that fall into the streams but are not flushed away, much like tea leaves stain hot water for us to drink. These unique coastal plain habitats are home to some of the most interesting and distinct inhabitants of Maryland streams. The blue-spotted sunfish is one of the most beautiful fish in Maryland. They have pale blue fluorescent spots that are accentuated on males during the spawning season to attract mates. Pickerels are the dominant predators of the swamps. They lie motionless along the bank or in vegetation. Then strike suddenly when prey swims within range of their spine-toothed jaws. The largemouth bass is a more active predator. It searches among roots and logs for prey. Adult bass feed on anything from fish and crayfish to mice and ducklings. Young bass feed on insects, tadpoles, and small fish, such as the mosquito fish. Like brown trout, bass are stocked throughout Maryland to provide fishing opportunities. Dragonfly larvae are also predators in dark, slow waters. They lurk in roots or on gravel beds, waiting for unsuspecting invertebrates or even small fish to swim carelessly by. Although farming is prevalent throughout Maryland, it is most common on the coastal plain. Many streams in agricultural areas have a great deal of silt that enters the stream when it rains. This silt often originates from the tilling of land and from pastures. Cattle and other grazers wear landscapes. And in some cases, walk directly into streams. Obvious pollution occurs when animal waste washes into streams. Animal waste and other sources of pollution directly affect the health of stream inhabitants. <laughs>